Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Swiggle, and we are here with another guide video for Return of Reckoning. Today we are going to be looking at the add-ons and interface. I will show you guys the basic uh, add-ons that you should be having and like how you can change your interface. It's going to be like really basic overview. We are not going to go extremely to the depth. Uh, so yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so when you first make your character, this is how your screen is going to be looking like. Uh, I will show you guys how you can interface your screen. So it's actually pretty easy and what's the best thing about Eternal Reckoning is that everything is fully customizable. So what you want to do is like you want to hit escape, you go to user setting, you do interface and do go to layout editor. So you click on your layout, layout editor and you click start editing and it will pop out the windows with all the different uh, frames you can be changing. All right, so the way it works, it's very simple. You're just gonna grab a window you wanna move around and you just move it to the way you want it to. So example, if you wanna have your uh, health bar with your you know picture by you, you can move it wherever you want to. The same for like your target and secondary target. You know, you can uh, make it bigger, smaller, you know, just so you can make it bigger if you need to, you know, have it huge or have it smaller if you prefer like not to have it really seen. Uh, and this is like, works for every single uh, green uh, bikes. You can also right click and set occupancy to pretty much to have it hidden. That way it's not showing or it's like almost no show or you can just simple hide it. I like to hide these because I just, you know, feel like it just doesn't look nice with the bars, you know, but yeah, you just grab it and you can put it in every one. Then you just hit exit, save changes and where you grabbed and moved your stuff. That's what it's going to be. All right, so next thing we're going to look at is uh, action bars. So the action bars are very simple as well. So you open your user setting and you go to a uh, uh, interface. If you can see you have an action bars uh, and you can you can enable you want to see a cooldown things and you can log action bars as well. Now you can have up to five action bars. You can have them either stack or you can change the rows, you know, make them uh, smaller, bigger, depending on what you want to, what you prefer. You can also make them a vertical if you prefer that way. Now you just hit apply and once again you can go to your layout editor and you can grab them uh, somewhere else if you would prefer them to have them somewhere else. You can also make them bigger or smaller or uh, you know uh, anything with your higher desires. Uh, the next thing we're gonna look at uh, look at it's gonna be in uh, in the layout editor. It's gonna be uh, the party members and the warband groups. So just you know, uh, this is gonna might need a little tweaking once you're actually gonna be in your parties and in scenarios or warbands. Uh, but it's once again very easy. Just move it wherever you need it to be. As I said it might need like some readjusting once you are in the party, so you can actually see uh, where everything is. Uh, but yeah, just once again, the same principle, just grab it and move it anywhere you need to. You can uh, different size it, you know, but I said it, it's going to definitely need a little tweaking once you will be in the actual parties. All right, let's move to our add -in. So when you download a game, uh, you will have a raw package in there called Vanilla UI. So Vanilla UI is a, a pack of add-ons which are kind of recommended for the game you don't have to use all of them the first thing i would do if you do get the add-ons all set up is to disable them all because they are all gonna pop out at the same time uh, so what you're gonna do is go to the user setting go to your inter interface and go to mods and add-ons this is how it's gonna look like when you open it it's gonna have all these add-ons that are actually you know in the vanilla ui plus if you download some extra ones this is where they're gonna be uh it actually is pretty simple you can see when you click them it actually gives you a some kind of overview about what the item is uh so you can always just you know i would first of first things first i would disable them all so they are not gonna stack all together and then one by one you can read the description and see um you know what kind of stuff you would like to use so let's go ahead and start with one of the add-ins. Uh, the add-on I would recommend is called Bob Head. Uh, so Bob Head, what does it do? It shows your buffs above your head. So you just go ahead and slash Bob Head. 
uh, in your chat. Uh, and we'll pop out a, a settings uh, for the add-on. You can see there's a different kind of settings you can always use. Uh, you know, like for example, tracker, like this to show, um, you can set up of what you want to see. You know, like for example, you can show bugs that's caused by me, then you can cure them. So, for example, if you're a healer and you know, you can clear debuzz, you can set it up so you can see them better. The same, you can, you know, see display like how how huge you want him, you know, on what side, uh, the way you want him. If you want, uh, you know, if you want uh, always shown first, so you know, shows debuff first or debuff uh, buff or debuffs first. You know, it's always depending on what you would like to see. Uh, but the way it uh, looks once you have it set up, it's like when you let's use flea because that's the only only thing I do have. It's like it's like you can see it's gonna pop out right above your head like this so yeah that is above head and next and then i would personally recommend like something I, how i said this is gonna be like what add-ons i you do use it's a cmap and a cmap config uh once you click the android enable it will make you give you a new square map in the corner uh, i prefer it better than the you know than the, the circle one you get as the base one so you can always move your map somewhere else and you can hide uh the the one the games actually comes with and what pretty much it gives you it gives you like a, a better looking in my opinion better looking map it's the squarish nice uh you can also change uh, the way it looks like and everything so yeah that's that's a custom map Right, so the next item we're gonna be looking at it's called enemy so enemy is probably one of the most used uh, items in the game so what does it do it does a lot of stuff so how you can see it can change the way your party looks like it's gonna be looking like this your party uh, you can see you can drag it and move it it's like a little bit compact than the actual party frames you get from the game uh the next thing uh you can get a markers so you can see uh you can edit more colors you know uh it's it has unlimited uh color wise what does it do it's like when you click on your party uh party like a, a party leader um, or maybe you know just want somebody who you want to track you just click on them and click on the color you want them to be tracked at and it's gonna be following them around uh, the next thing with enemy is is uh, so when you go to a configuration for enemy uh, there is a different kind of uh, tabs you can do uh, mods to so let's go start with the assist so the, what assist does is like it will help you uh, assist uh, like a uh, ma uh, you know if you want to be on the same target as like your friend and you have a hard time to find them this is definitely the thing you want to use uh so kill spam is um it will announce when you do a dead blow to somebody it will be popping out on your screen you know it will show you like what you killed them with you were, what was their name and uh you know uh other things like that okay next we have the unit frame so i said that's the unit frames i show you that's gonna be looking like that uh you can always uh you know um change it depending on what you want you can just have your group only you know your group's gonna be first you know you want to detach your group that way you know uh if you for example if you play in healer and you don't want you know all the all the um all the parties you know with you moving and you just want the one you know that's closer to you or like for the tanks you know you just can detach it and move your party you add uh you know move around uh okay next day we have a group icons you can change the way it looks like as well uh guard this is definitely good for the um you know guard players uh tanks you know and you need uh, help with a uh, card uh scenario info and a timer i would definitely recommend have having an enemy as an add-in it's definitely a, uh i said probably one of the most used add-ins in the game definitely i definitely would recommend to get this one set up as well all right so the next item we're gonna be looking at is called pure so what does pure does it does change uh it's it's a frame changer really so when you do apply it uh it's uh, your frames are gonna be looking uh something like this uh so the way it works uh you have to do a slash pure 
in your chat will pop out the configuration uh there's you know you have a configure for the player player pred uh player pred target from the target and hostile target uh you make sure you go through all of them make sure they are enabled then you can choose you know if you want to uh, change the colors depending on what class it is or you know um uh or just you know if you like it uh uh just the way it is so you can get it show in the combat or in the siege it's all customizable depending on what you like uh just make sure you go through them and make sure you enable them all and also um uh, you will have to disable the uh, basic gamers uh, the ones the game comes with so when you go to your interface option again uh you just you know use your um you find your uh, status primary target secondary card and you just hide them that way uh the pure ones are visible if you do not like the pure you don't have to use the add-on all right and the last and then we're gonna look at it's called uh rr sor it's a state of the realm uh it's definitely used uh when you do uh do rvr so what does it do is uh it shows you where the rvr is happening um so when you if, enabled it's gonna be looking like that once again uh it is a fully fully uh, you know um customizable uh you can scale it up higher lower depending on what you like um as i said it does shows uh where the current rvr is happening so it's definitely one of the recommended add-ins just because so you know where to go if you do need to do some you know uh, rvr or you just don't know where to go this is definitely a but I, I don't that's gonna help you to find out uh where the action is happening uh i said it's very easy to customize it um you know you can um see you know if you just when i use the certain tiers or just forts or just the city siege uh it really really depends on you what you like but yeah that's uh gonna be dead for a slr Alright guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for for watching. Uh, if you guys have any uh, recommendation or some guides you would like to see, please let me uh, know. Leave a comment down below. You can always coach me on my Twitch. Uh, it's called Cruise to Wiggle. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.